Hey guys, in today's video we'll be going over an important discovery made in cell membranes, aquaporins. But before we get to aquaporins, we first have to understand the different types of movement of molecules across the cell membrane. Now, when we have our cell membrane, molecules can move into and out of the cell, depending on the concentration gradient. When it comes to concentration gradients, substances like to move down the gradient, or from a high concentration of the substance to a low concentration of the substance. They do this because it does not require energy in order to move substances in this direction. This kind of transport is called passive transport. Its opposite, active transport, moves up the concentration gradient from low to high and requires energy to be moved. Now within each set of transport, there's a subset of each type. We are going to focus on passive transport and its subsets. Simple diffusion is the movement of hydrophobic, small, nonpolar molecules across the cell membrane. These types of molecules can dissolve in the lipid bilayer of the membrane, crossing it with ease. But if we take the opposite of such diffusion, namely facilitated diffusion, we get into a problem. Facilitated diffusion is a transport of large hydrophilic polar molecules and these require the help of specific transport proteins in the cell membrane. Without these transport proteins, the substance cannot cross the membrane or diffuses across too slowly to be useful. Even though facilitated diffusion needs such a protein, it still doesn't require energy since the driving force of the movement is still the concentration gradient. Now water molecules are small, but they are also polar, so its diffusion across the membrane's hydrophobic interior can be slow. To get the rapid diffusion of water into and out of the cell, we require the assistance of none other than aquaporins. Aquaporins are called transmembrane proteins because they are types of membrane proteins that span the entire cell membrane. The 2003 Nobel Prize in Chemistry was awarded to Peter Agar for the discovery of these proteins and their critical role in our bodies, such as in organs like kidneys. These aquaporins prevent us from dying of dehydration by reabsorbing 99% of water in the kidneys. The presence of such water channels increases the permeability of membranes to water by as much as tenfold, making them important and essential in our lives and day-to-day -day functions. I hope this video helped you to understand more about aquaporins and their role in our cell membrane. 